Hey guys, so Abby and I are going out for another one of our Sunday adventures and this time we are headed over to Pensacola Beach. Uh, we're going out to the end which is where Fort Pickens is. It's another historical site. It's another one of the forts that's here along the Gulf Coast. There's a there's several here. You got Fort Pickens, Fort Barrancas, and then the old Fort McGray. And uh, Fort Pickens is part of the Gulf Islands National Seashore. It's a really nice part. They have a campground there. They have lots of beaches there. They have a lot of cool stuff you can do. But we're just going to go out and we're going to check out the historical fort and walk around and we'll get some video of it and just kind of enjoy the nice weather that we're having today even though it's like Africa hot down here. <laughs> it's going to be like 95, 96 degrees today but it's all good. We're going to get a little bit of exercise and get out of the house and walk around a little bit. So hopefully you'll enjoy and come along for the ride. If you're in this area, you have to go to Peg Lake Beats. It's amazing. Great crab legs. Great oysters. Well, we made it out to Fort Pickens. So here we are, we're about to walk up and I got to brush up on some of my history of the fort. It's been years since I've been out here, probably more than 10, 15 years. But this was the largest of the four forts built in the Pensacola Bay coastal area. And it's got a lot of history to it. So let's see what we can go find out about it. I do remember that this corner of the fort right here, I believe it exploded the, the uh, I forget what they call the end of it here on the corner, but I believe it exploded from uh, gunpowder where it was stored. Thank you. 
Cool, there's a cannon in there. All right, so here we are. There's Fort Pickens there. And uh, you have old Fort McRae there. That's, you had to get there by boat. And there's not much left of it. And you have Fort Brancus over on Pensacola NAS there. Well, let's see if I was right. A fire broke out near the gunpowder magazine on the fort's northwest side. All right, it ignited the gunpowder and it blew up the bastion there. Shower debris across Pensacola Bay. Wow. Well, it killed somebody too. We're gonna check what this is over here. Abby, it says, please do not climb. It's very fragile. I know you're That's excited, totally but you see the chains there? <laughs> you know touch. <laughs> we were at a museum and I happened to put my hand like over here where the thing was and I didn't realize that there was this like laser wire going across there and I set off all the alarms. <laughs> I just blamed it on Abby. And I pointed at you. Wow, that's cool. I wonder if those are original restored. They're, they're not doing any like guided tours right now, so it's all a self-guided tour today. Those are nice, babe. This is pretty cool stuff. I'm sure you guys are liking this. Hopefully the video is not being blown out too hard. So this looks like uh, something that they maybe tote ammunition with, I would guess. You know, obviously some kind of supplies. Looks like it hooks to a horse and you have a bench there that you ride it on. And then we got the cannon on the other side. Personally, I don't know what kind of cannon that is but great job on the restoration there. Yeah, really yeah, that looks cool. Cool shot looking down through the fort there. Steam cannons it says there. We want to give you brick masons out there another shout out another trade that's under respected and untalked about across youtube but you gotta love some good masonry work and to think this was built back in the early 1800s you know it's just amazing Uh, this should be the center battery. I don't know what that one's called yet. We'll find out. That would have been where the disappearing cannons would have been mounted. So we'll go find out about that.
very cool up here, isn't it? Keep off the gun, Abby. <laughs> Great shot of Fort Pickens. So here's Fort Pickens. That's where we're standing right there. This is where old Fort McRae used to be on the island. Past that battery there, what looks like a beach. That's where Fort McRae used to be, the original Fort McRae. There's still an area there that you can go and see, which is Battery 233. There's still an area there that you can walk around and see it. This is a good place to go boating. They call this Sand Island here, and this is nicknamed Paradise Cove. It's just beautiful in there. Absolutely gorgeous. The gulf looks great. You can see the emerald green waters. I don't know if the camera can catch it, but you see there's like a light on the... Yeah, that's the, that's the sand, and that's always been... It's just so bright. Anytime you look down the beach, you always see that sort of like reflection in the sky. Today would be a good day to be out on the gulf. Yeah. The seas are calm. There, I mean, there's not... That's got to be like, I don't know, one, two foot seas out there. I, I see boats everywhere so everybody's got the right idea it's a very good boating day so that is on the other side of the the uh, battery there that is Pensacola Pass there on the other side would be Fort McRae is this is coming into Pensacola Bay and there is the Pensacola Lighthouse straight across and that's on Pensacola NAS the Naval Air Station and another one of our adventures yeah yeah we're uh we're thinking about you can tour the lighthouse and we need to do that yeah, I, I need to get some exercise in so that's going to be a good challenge for old a-bomb climbing all the way up that lighthouse over there <laughs> but just lots of history of this place here i really i really wish that i could tell you more about it i read a book on fort pickens that I had purchased a long time ago and there's just really interesting history to read about when the soldiers were stationed here so long ago that they hated it out here because it felt so desolate you felt so isolated out here on this island there was no way to get across back to the Navy Yard there except for a ferry or a boat and it was all beach sand everywhere I haven't yet let's find out I was seeing there's some information right there about some of the fights that were going on I need to read that this is about the cannon here yeah massive smooth bore there's another good shot I mean kind of like looking out this way so again we're here Fort Pickens this is uh, Pensacola NAS here side of old Fort McRae but that's the battery 233 right here that if you if you ride your boat over here and park you can walk up to the battery and see that it's really cool they used to have it open where you could walk down inside there but they somebody they, they finally just closed it up and then uh, Fort Barrancas is right there directly in front of the mouth of the Pensacola Pass here and I know that it's going to be very hard to see on uh, video where was it at okay directly right behind that house and those chimneys just to the left of the roof is Fort Barrancas Here's a great example of how these cannons were used along the walls here. So they were mounted on the center pivot pin. This one's missing the, the iron rails, but you get the you get the picture. They just pivoted there.
to be an iron worker and a machinist back whenever they were building these things. Still lost to see. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Here's another little history lesson for you, talking about the archways. The archways there are just really cool. How does it feel in that spot? Amazing. It's like a it's like a natural fan coming yeah. through here. Cause it is you, hot. You but, go ahead. I'll just was gonna. Oh yeah, how, so pretty. I'm gonna so come over here, here to the hot room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels good. We got the air coming through right here. <laughs> Another shot. Talking about the brick masons, look at the arching, how they've done that. How they filled that in. That's just really cool. Another good airflow spot. Yeah, it feels good right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's another little history lesson for you for Fort Pickens. I'm sure everybody's heard of Geronimo. You ready to go into the dark tunnel? Of course. Tunnel, what, is it, what does it say it is? Battery Pensacola Tunnel. A tunnel was placed through the battery to allow access to the warehouse on the south side of the fort. Oh, okay. The tunnel was seal, sealed in the 1920s. Oh, man, so we can't go all the way through it? Well, let's go find out. Like, attacking each other. What is that? I don't know. What are those? It looks stingy. Yep. Oh, they're bees. I remember that when I was oh, a I'm kid. Sorry. I, went right in front. I think it dead ends down there. No. I can't see. I can't see either. <laughs> I'm not right I remember it being a long tunnel and it gets smaller as you go as you go further back. Alright, we're gonna try the little tunnel here. I know that you're not going to be able to see much. I got my, uh, I got my phone out. Oh, oh, sorry. There's a step there. Uh oh. What did I do? I did something. Hold on. I know the camera's still rolling. <laughs> I must have hit the button or something. Wow, your light's a whole lot brighter than mine. Mm. Wasn't gonna say it, but. Well, I mean, do you want to go in front of me or something? No, I don't. Yeah. You, you take the camera. Okay, here. <laughs> We're gonna try this. All right. Yeah, there's another tunnel there. Dead ends. Wow. Um, I yeah, think, I'm gonna go with no. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, I went down there, but <laughs> I'm not gonna go down at this time. <laughs> Uh, pretty cool though. It's cool though, yeah. Very cool. All right, we'll go back. Okay. We'll go back out. Well, I don't know what they would have put in here. Is it just like storage? I'm sure it is. Attackers who reach the dry moat would be caught in terrific. Fire. That's this here. This is the dry moat.
another one of those storage units in here. There's another one of those tunnels like we had went in that wasn't lit up. This one's got a light there. The tunnel system leads to three chambers, each designed to hold about 1,000 pounds of gunpowder. Okay, so is this where they stored gunpowder then? Yeah, it says, if enemy forces breached the walls, defenders of the fort would blow up the chambers as a last resort. Oh, okay. Collapsing the walls and the, on the attacking forces. There you go. That's cool though. So they just stored the gunpowder down here. Kind of creepy. Very cool though. Yeah, it is very cool. There's uh, ramrods. That's great that they still have some of these cannons here to show how they were used. Look at the screw and the, it's a bevel gear there used for raising and lowering the cannon. That looks like an eccentric that was probably used to keep it stable from pushing back. That's just what it looks like to me. I'm taking a guess there. Really? Oh, here we go. All right, we just figured something out new that I hadn't seen before. Carriage tongue and pintle. I've been noticing in all these windows, there was an iron pin in the center. Some of them were sticking out. Never realized what that was for. These cannons were hooked to the front of it there. Never knew that. We're going to walk out to the car and grab a swig of water. It's pretty hot today. But we're going to go back in and, and check out the, the battery there. And see some more spots around the fort here. There's a couple places down that I haven't never been to. We want to check those out also.